There are three essential aspects of our lives that most people want and need. They are prosperity, good health and supportive relationships. In this video, we will focus on Feng Shui for prosperity. I am Natalia Kalin. I am a Feng Shui designer. Feng Shui is about creating the right type and the right flow of Qi energy that supports our goals. In this video, we will share some tips on how to unlock your prosperity. Five of them are general tips and two last ones are specific for the year of 2024. Let's talk about prosperity for a minute. Prosperity is a complex, multifaceted thing. Money is energy. It includes emotional aspects. It's not even how much money or number of material things we have. In reality, it's about how those things, such as money in the bank, a certain size of a house and a certain model of a car makes us feel. It's a range of feelings. If you feel prosperous, you feel relaxed. Your needs are met. You feel elevated, right? Your energy expands rather than contracts. Since we are talking about home, let me demonstrate it. Imagine yourself in this space. How would you feel in this space? You probably would feel somewhat cramped and uh, maybe even somewhat stuck. Or this space. You may feel low and probably even depressed here. Both spaces have low and stagnant energy. In both spaces, it would be hard to feel prosperous, successful and vibrant. The energy of the space becomes your energy with time. Feeling stagnant or stuck or low is not the right mindset for creating abundance and wealth. These are extreme examples and obvious to see. There are plenty of more subtle cases out there. If every time you open your front door or any door you are using to enter the house and the door doesn't open smoothly or doesn't open all the way because there is something behind it, you probably will feel irritated. You may feel that something is wrong. And let me be very clear, it's not the thing that's behind the door going to deprive you from more prosperity entering your home. In this case, it is the feeling that it creates. To be honest, if it were only this one thing, it is unlikely that would influence your prosperity. Typically, it is an accumulation of several things. From what I see in my clients' homes, it is several things that go wrong that create blockages for wealth and prosperity. Because we want wealth to grow and expand, we want to create this feeling of growth and expansion in the space so it can influence and nourish us. That's one of the aspects of Feng Shui. We want the energy, the Qi energy of the space to be such that it makes us feel elevated, expanded, happy, hopeful and confident. Money is energy and prosperity is energy and it is a rising type of energy. If the space is set up right, it will be inevitable that your prosperity will grow. More people entirely miss this aspect. I'm glad we got to talk a little bit about it so you have a better understanding now. Let's address the most important areas to enhance your chances for prosperity. First, you need to create a good energy at your front door and invite it in. Enhance and beautify the approach to your front door and the door itself. It's good to have it nicely landscaped and have a clear, preferably curved path leading to your front door. Do not have overgrown shrubs that obstruct the entrance. Here you can see that the shrubs totally obstruct both entrances. You don't even see the entrances. The Qi energy is blocked from entering this home. This was my client's home, so I know this translated into feeling stuck and stagnant and not getting what she wanted. After she addressed this and the things inside of the house, multiple opportunities streamed into her life, more than she anticipated. Then you can also work on enhancing and beautifying the area around your front door. You can work with adding plants, lights on both sides of the door, adding a wreath or flower basket to your door. Also, you can consider painting your door in a different color. In Feng Shui, we love red or purple or cobalt blue or green or aqua colored doors because these colors elevate the energy and these are the colors that correspond to prosperity and wealth. 
if you live in an apartment, you cannot do much about the approach uh, or the color of your door, but you can do something about your entryway area where we will go next. The next step is clear clutter and organize your entrance. If you use more than one entrance, it relates to all the entrances you use, your main entrance, mudroom entrance or garage entrance. Entryways are important because this is where the energy comes into the house and from here it is distributed throughout the house. If your entryway is cluttered and disorganized, it will make you feel stressed upon entering your home and in addition it will make the energy feel stuck right there in the entrance and negatively influence your potential for wealth. Even for small entryway you can find enclosed solutions for your shoes and coats. You can find some beautiful options at West Elm, even Costco and of course Ikea. All kinds of sizes and styles are available to fit your taste, style and budget. I was surprised to see some nice inexpensive options for shoe storage on Amazon and Wayfair. Clutter-free, well-organized, well-lit entryway is the base for your success. Let's move to the next one, enhancing the southeast sector of your home. The southeast area of your home is associated with prosperity and wealth. As you can see from this Bagua map, the element of the southeast is wood. Wood is the rising type of energy and we definitely want a rising type of energy in the southeast. From the five element interaction cycle, water supports wood. So the second element of the southeast is water. If this area houses a beautiful clutter-free room, like a living room, family room, a kitchen, great, you are in luck. Consider adding plants to those rooms. Plants with rounded leaves such as jade plant, ZZ plant, money plant are great in the southeast. You can see a little money plant behind me here. If you have plenty of light, larger plants are beneficial, such as ficus or fiddle leaf tree. In the southeast, we prefer plants that grow upward, not downward trailing plants. If you would like more information on selecting the right plants, I have a very good, my favorite actually, video on decorating with house plants plus feng shui plant tips. Consider blue, green, purple and gold accents in your decor in the southeast sector. Pillows and throw blankets are easy. Pick something that looks luxurious to you. If you like green, a set of green placements is an easy find. All of these are from Amazon. I will put a few links of my favorite items in the description box. If the room is appropriate, consider placing an, an amethyst gemstone. Images of water are great in the southeastern rooms. Images of boats and yachts are great for creating a feeling of prosperity. Using gold accents is beautiful and it projects a feeling of wealth in your southeast room. If you want a bigger effect next time you repaint your southeast room, rich blue or aqua wall colors are very appropriate. Purple color is considered to be a color of prosperity and wealth in traditional Chinese feng shui. Rich plum color is becoming increasingly popular. If you are feeling it in your home, then by all means use it. It can be really nice in a powder room. It goes well with gold. If your bathroom is in the southeast, you need to uplift the energy there using colors, vertical tiles, See the gold accents here, plants or pictures of plants. Japandi style bathroom with natural wood planks works very well in the southeast. And if you are enjoying the content so far, I would very much appreciate your help in growing this channel. Please support it by clicking the like and subscribe buttons. The next tip is harnessing auspicious water placement. Water placement is a big deal in feng shui. Water element, especially moving water, supports and promotes prosperity and wealth. Feng shui masters use some advanced esoteric calculations to find the best water placement directions for prosperity for each feng shui period. Each period lasts for 20 years. I'm not going into details of why and how here, 
but I am happy to tell you the results of these calculations. In 2024, we entered period 9, and the best water placement from 2024 till 2043 is north. The second best direction is southeast. If you ever wanted a water fountain or a koi pond outside or an aquarium inside, the north and southeast are ideal directions for such additions. My client's home was finished in 2021 in period 8 and she wanted to install a built-in aquarium. So I already then made calculations for the most auspicious water placement in period 9 and we chose southeast. The next tip is creating a prosperity altar. If you are serious about unlocking your potential for wealth, I would suggest creating a prosperity altar and placing it in the northwest part of your home. Northwest, as you can see from the Bagua, relates to helpful people or help from heavens. Northwest is opposite from the southeast. There is a synergy between these two directions or two sectors of the Bagua. If you activate this area, this means that you will receive more help to get what you want. And who knows, maybe more. You may experience more help from people you already know, or you may meet new people, or the help may come in a way that you don't even expect. The universe has its own ways, right? It is the best if the Northwest is uh, your office, living room, dining room, or other appropriate area. Kitchens, bathrooms are not good to place an altar. The bedroom is okay, but maybe not the best. If Northwest doesn't work, I would consider placing it in the Southeast or any other appropriate room. Your wealth altar can include items such as Wealth Buddha or any other statue of your spiritual belief, uh, beautiful crystals, especially amethyst, a string of lights, a candle or an incense, a plant with rounded leaves such as a jade plant or money plant, and coins. Get creative and add whatever is meaningful to you in terms of wealth and prosperity and whatever resonates with your heart. By placing an altar like this, you are declaring to the universe that you are open for help and ready to receive prosperity. The last two tips will work only in the year of 2024. In 2024, we entered the new Feng Shui period 9, where the number 9 symbolizes wealth. To activate your prosperity luck this year, place nine feng shui coins in the southwest. Now we are using the annual flying star technique, which is very popular in traditional feng shui. Sometimes, even with the small changes, you can get some good results. Usually because it's a yearly energy, small items or talismans are used to enhance the energy because the next year this prosperity star will move somewhere else. If your front door or secondary entrance door happens to be in the southwest, hang nine coins on the doorknob. If appropriate, you can add red or purple flowers or pillows into this area. If there is a window, you can hang a, crystals in, a crystal in the window or place a purple crystal a lotus flower on the window sill to further energize the space. In the spring, consider planting red or purple flowers in the southwest part of your yard. There is another annual flying star number one, which relates to business success and winning in a competitive environment. Let's say you are ready for a race, but there is a competition. By elevating energy in the east, you may enhance your career and business luck and win in a competitive environment. If there is a window, hang a crystal in the window or place a white crystal lotus flower. Add a white flower on a long stem. A white orchid works well. Needless to say, both southwest and east rooms should be free of clutter. Clutter will stagnate your success. I hope that you follow the recommendations in this list. Have fun with it. Be creative. Enjoy it. By following these Feng Shui tips, uh, and activating these specific areas of your home, you can enhance positive energy and support success and prosperity in your life. May your home be blessed with abundance and prosperity.